If you're looking for a cruise which offers beautiful Italian style and stunning food from the talented Bruno Barberi, with active holidays available for the whole family or romantic getaways for you and a special person, keep watching as today we're looking at Costa Cruises. Hello and welcome to episode 94 of Planet Cruise Weekly. I'm Keith and as ever I'm joined by my trusty sidekick, Glenn the Cruiser Wallace. Thank you. <laughs> as we delve into the quintessential Italian masterpiece that's known as Costa Cruises. Long renowned for cruising Italian style, Costa Cruises is the largest cruise line in Europe and one of the oldest, having launched its first passenger ship back in 1948. Now Costa are also known for their fun and flamboyant approach, which attracts a truly international crowd. Your fellow passengers will be a wonderful mix of nationalities, more so than on most North American or UK based lines. So announcements will be made in a variety of different languages um, and the currency on board is typically in the Euro rather than the dollar or pound. Now as part of Carnival Corporation, Costa has access to the parent company's deep pockets and as a result, Costa has been one of the most active shipbuilding programs of any brand in the industry. The line has used that money well to build one of the most modern fleets in the Mediterranean and beyond. Mostly modelled on Carnival ships, the newest even share the same interior design. The Costa vessels distinguish themselves with a continental theme and Italian spirit. Now, as with all the lines, the choices do differ from ship to ship regards to the food and drink, but there is always a great choice on offer. From sit-down waiter service restaurants to, to the quick and easy self-service buffet, it's all included in the price of your cruise. Now, the food is international, but comes from an Italian perspective, so think plenty of fresh pasta, ship stocks at least 20 different shapes and the galley makes its own fresh gnocchi and expect some menu items you might not see on other ships such as octopus rabbit and carpaccio a raw beef appetizer now many supplies are sent from italy no matter where the ship is stationed and the preparations are representative of how the dish is served in italy for example bolognese meat sauce doesn't contain tomatoes. Rightly so. There you go. Mm. Rather than an Americanized version of Italian. And if you order spaghetti carbonara, it doesn't come with cream or mushrooms or normal ham. It's made with just eggs, parmesan, black pepper, and some wonderful Italian bacon. It's like sitting next to Jamie Oliver. Now, if you follow a special diet, such as gluten-free or hypoglycemic for diabetes, uh, or you have an allergy or an intolerance, you can safely enjoy all the wonderful cuisine during your Costa holiday. The chefs will be able to tickle your taste buds with delicious menus to take account of your specific dietary needs. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner menus for celiacs, for instance, are available in restaurants or on the ships. You can also bring your own food uh, from home and introduce that into your diet. So they really are very, very flexible with you. Now, if you're heading out on an excursion, you can also ask for a packed lunch that meets your dietary needs. All very, very impressive. There's also a good selection of fee restaurants, such as the Samsara restaurant, which combines the creativity of Costa chefs with traditional ingredients from Pacific and Mediterranean cuisines. Fresh, mouth-watering flavors and innovative cuisine, full of the aromas and fragrances of Asia and South America, but prepared with a Mediterranean style at heart. My favorite though when cruising with Costa is definitely the Pomodoro pizza. It's made with a traditional stone oven and top quality ingredients. And this is the one place on board where you will feel like you're in Italy more than anywhere else. And the secret is keeping it simple, using wholesome ingredients like uh, mozzarella and beautiful, beautiful fresh virgin olive oil. Or of course, you can try some light stylish Japanese cuisine at the Teppanaki restaurant. It's Favorite. a genuine oriental style lounge. Uh, you can order light sushi, sashimi, and lots of other oriental specialities which are skillfully prepared by the chefs and it will feel as if you've actually been to Japan. Costa's flagship dining experience though is La Senna's 12 course dinner, signed by Bruno Babrielli, an industry renowned chef with years of industry changing experience in Italian cuisine. This once in a lifetime meal is a real treat. Now to wash it all down, you can upgrade to a variety of inclusive drinks packages to enjoy unlimited wines, beers and soft drinks, as well as cocktails and liqueurs. And if you want to treat the family, there's even a child specific drinks package to make sure they're never thirsty. Costa Cruises offer brilliant entertainment for all the family. It's kind of multi-generational. Uh, you've got the onboard 4D cinema and Grand Prix simulator. You've got great swimming pools and the casino, of course, or shopping. Uh, the onboard shopping center will have loads of great duty-free offers there for you. Um, and, of course, as always, on hand is the photographer to There's capture all There's always a those photographer moments. on board a ship, isn't there? There is. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be, they'll be trying to show you show you your photos and give you opportunities to have, a, have it in a sailor's hat or uh, various themes you get on and off at various points. 
The Costa Holidays are designed to relax and revitalize your mind and body together. Whether this is a relaxing hot stone massage or a game of five-a-side football on the multi-purpose sports pitch, they can help. Now, if you departed on one of the six ships with a Samsara Spa, you'll have the delights of a genuine, orientally inspired beauty farm, which is an oasis of peace and serenity on the top decks of the ship, guaranteed to relax your mind, body and soul. Don't worry though, on the fleet, other ships, you're still treated to a fantastic array of massages, yoga, pilates, steam baths and sauna, a full beauty salon and even a barber shop for that extra close shave only they can manage. After a day of activity and relaxation, the fun isn't over. There's numerous bars and styles of drinks available on each ship and you're never far away from your favourite tipple. And after you've got the drink of your choice, you could take them along um, to one of the great events that are happening all over the ship. You can of course drop the kids off en route because they've got loads going on for them too. And then head down to the casino, head through to the show lounge, or maybe just relax in one of the lounges and listen to some great live music. To add some Hollywood into your holiday, maybe you prefer to see one of the many magicians, singers, or international artists that perform exclusively for Costa in the onboard theater. A great evening can be had in one of the talent shows, inviting their guests up onto the stage to wow and amaze other fellow passengers. Costa have made sure they cater for all ages and they've done it with style with their cutting edge technology that never ceases to amaze you or them in fact. Uh, if you fancy being a tiger woods, then you can make sure you visit the outdoor golf course and putting green. Or if you're looking for something a bit more active, then pop down to the futuristic star laser zone where you have to dodge and shoot laser beams, making you feel like you're in a galaxy far, far away. Now they also have unique offerings such as Fun with Peppa Pig, where all the kids will be invited to meet Peppa Pig in person and take part in colouring, treasure hunts and puzzles, followed by a themed disco with the Squawk Club gang. Now, if Peppa Pig isn't your for you, why not? There may be Costa's own princess for the day or captain for the day. That's you, princess for that the day. Would be, that would, mm. be met, would fit the criteria where you can enjoy a day in the life of this role and even help the captains make weather forecasts and as a princess, have their portrait painted with mum and dad. Now, cabins on Costa Cruises come in a wide variety of different shapes and sizes, but they all have adjustable air conditioning, a 24 seven steward, daily changed linen, and an interactive flat screen satellite TV, meaning that whether you're out on the decks or in your own cabin, you have the height of luxury all at your fingertips at all times. Offering everything from a standard cabin up to a Samsara spa cabin, you have the choice to enjoy your holiday exactly how you want to. The Samsara is the top of the line suite, which also includes extras such as 24 hour room service and an aromatic essence diffuser and ever privileged direct and unlimited access to the spa area. Mm. Other extras offered in the selected cabins include a choice of first and second dining for dinner, a cabin minibar, reserved front row seats in the theater and Costa Club points up for grabs with most of their cabins. Now let's talk about one of the most important parts of Costa Cruises, and that's the ships themselves. They've got a total of 18 ships currently in the fleet, ranging from small intimate ones such as near Romantica, with say 624 cabins on board, all the way up to the mighty Diadema flagship, which has 1,862 cabins to choose from. Now on the Diadema, you'll be treated to a beautiful 500 meter long top deck, which is lined with bars and restaurants that will make you feel like it's a summer's day on the Italian Riviera every single day you're on board. And while we're talking flagships, Costa have a new one currently being built. This is exciting news, we've not talked about this previously, but it's going to be the 6,518 passenger ships being built in the Mayer Turku shipyard in Finland, and it's going to launch in October 2019. Now, Costa Smeralda will weigh in at 182,700 gross tonnes and will have 2,612 cabins. It's one of seven new LNG powered ships ordered by Carnival Corporation. Now, if you're confused what we mean by LNG, it's the world's cleanest burning fossil fuel. It's gonna be stored in special tanks on board the ship and will be used to generate 100% of the energy required for navigation and onboard services, thanks to some amazingly new dual fuel hybrid engines. Now, Costa hasn't released many details on what to expect on board Smeralda, but the Nine has revealed that the cabins will be designed by a land based studio called Dordoni. Now, the designs will be based on Italian cities, with each deck represented by a well-known destination. Cabins will feature a photographic panel, which will be basically an embedded television depicted an Italian city view. The bathroom walls will be cladded to look like marble and a full height window in the shower will be designed to create the feel of a more space and, and improve the lighting. And all the cabin furniture will be custom made by the leading Italian furniture manufacturers 
and Costa Smeralda will sail in the Western Mediterranean with itineraries on sale in early 2018. Very exciting. Costa have, in recent years, revamped numerous intimate ships to make them even more modern and exceptional, and this can be found in their Neo class of ship, currently occupied by Neo Romantica, Classica and Riviera. The Neos are known for being smaller and cosier with under 800 cabins on board. Now a spectacular example of the Neo class of ships is the Riviera, aptly named of course after the stunning stretch of Italian coastline. It was relaunched under Costa in 2013 and the Neo concept calls for more overnights and longer port stays and opportunities for premium small group shore excursions plus a more casual atmosphere that's very adult focused. Now, unlike with other ships in the Costa's fleet, kids pay full price on the Neo vessels, which means you don't see as many of them. And the menus have been rejigged to focus on Italian specialities developed in conjunction with the slow food movement. The number of daily announcements have been cut down and activities such as stargazing added to the lineup. To the delight of its primarily Italian customer base, Nescafe machines have been added to most cabins. Another great exclusive to the Neo ships is the wine pairings recommended by the Italian Sommeliers Association. Costa have a beautiful selection of wine by the glass paired with each of their menus, so if you're stuck on what to complement the classic Italian cuisine with, they have your back. They also offer special events such as cruise brunch and afternoon teas throughout the cruise. Now let's have a look at some of the excursions they offer on board. Now to accompany their large fleet, they have a huge selection of excursions to choose from, from starting with easy tours of your chosen locations that will show you the local attractions and stunning locations on offer. With stop-offs along the way, with a professional tour guide to give you all the tips, pointers and lowdowns on where to go and get the best views and souvenirs. Now if food and drink or shopping is more your thing, they have tours of local food establishments, wineries and shopping centres. They also have fantastic options to transfer for a day or two to other local cities or monuments. So for example, if you're docked in Marseille, they offer a transfer trip to Provence where you get a chance to take in the atmosphere and go for a romantic stroll down the course to Moulibou. This is a stunning tree-lined avenue, complete with impressive fountains and numerous cafes. Now the line has recently been a pioneer in developing the United Arab Emirates as a regional home port by positioning some of its tonnage there, and also by positioning some more in the Caribbean for the North American winter. Interestingly, Costa was also the first international cruise brand to offer regularly scheduled cruises from China, and also recently offered a seasonal program of cruises from the US East Coast to Canada and New England. So it's quite an expansive and very interesting set of itineraries. So, Costa Cruises are a cruise line that offers some stunning, mid-sized, traditionally Italian family ships with exquisite food and lots to do no matter what generation you are, from little kids all the way up through and to I'll tell your you what, if you have a look at some of the prices, because a lot of the cruises are getting, you know, the cruise lines are getting more and more expensive mm. at the moment, Costa are still really, really good prices. If you get a good deal on the Edema and some of those, you can get some really, really good prices. Yeah, it's, it's a great way into the cruise cruising experience as well, isn't it? Because it is very, very yeah. affordable. Um, and, and that gives you, and also, it's great because you get an international mix of people. So if you Which don't some want people just, like, don't they? Exactly. If you don't want to cruise with just Brits or just Americans and you want to, you know, feel like you're part of something bigger than that, then it's a really, really good option. Plus, if you love Italian food, of course, you're getting it from the, you know, from, from the, the people source. themselves, from the source, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you. Get in touch if you cruise with Costa, give us your feedback, we'd love to hear it. How do they do so? You can contact us at hello at planetcruise.com. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And again, when you do that, make sure you hit the bell as well, because that will give you updates when our new Planet Cruise weekly show is out. Also, all Costa Cruises are on our website. If Costa's not for you, don't panic. We've got plenty of other ships as well, taking you to the seven continents. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.